Hello, it's Mo, and today we're going to go over some tips for improving on Spy. The first tip that really helps me is stay stock. I see really often new players that use the Dead Ringer or the Urton Reward or the Spasticle exclusively the second that they get it. Because that's what the pros use and they think it's effective. Which it is, but effective doesn't always mean easy. The Dead Ringer is a really useful item, but it generally makes for a faster, more aggressive, go with the flow kind of playstyle. And it can work, but it's not very good for beginners. I'd recommend using the stock in this watch. It requires a slower, more planned playstyle, which is good. It gives you more time to think about what you're doing so you don't have to play by ear. As for the knives, most of them penalize you for using the gun. Either you don't get the disguise, the health, or the cloak. And the gun is really useful. Which brings us to the second tip, use the gun. As a spy, you can see enemy health, which is incredibly useful. If you're spotted by someone, and they only have around 60 health, which you can see, shoot him. Cloak and running isn't your only option. Even the Latonge, which has a 20% damage penalty, can do about 30 damage mid-range. That's enough to kill Sniper with 4 shots, and you'd likely get 2 or 3 of those in before he zooms out. The third tip, pay attention to your disguise. If you see that you're a pyro with a bunch of fancy hats and expensive stuff, he's gonna know you're a spy immediately, which is going to get you killed. Also consider where you are. If you're an engineer on the front lines, a medic all alone, or a sniper away from the sniper spot, they're going to know. It's best to not rely on your disguise at all, really. Either be behind them, or invisible slash ready to ring. You can also change your disguise weapon. So if you bring up the knife and press B, you have the bottle. Saber? Stick around watch. This can make your disguise much more convincing. Hello again. Oftentimes Hello engineers goodbye. have the wrench out, hey, snipers will have the SMG or the Kukri, Demonites will have the sword, etc. etc. I find that the Dead Ringer works better on open maps, like King of the Hill, where there aren't really distinct red and blue sides, sort of where everyone's everywhere. But it's also really bad against pyros, since you can't cloak and run before you're on fire unless you get hit by something else, like Girardi. So if you keep getting flames to death, try the Invis Watch. You'll probably do better. If you're dead ringing away, it's often good to go deeper into enemy territory. Not only is it not what they expect, but you don't need to try to get back in. Which with the dead ringer, is a bit hard. You get more opportunities for trick stabs with the dead ringer, since they tend to be up in their faces all impromptu, but you should still treat them like a last resort. If you're out of cloak, outgunned, and nowhere near your teammates, then go for it, you might get lucky. But otherwise, you're just putting yourself in a bad spot for no real reason. My last tip is, if absolutely nothing is working right, just take a break. Everyone has those days where you just die, and there's nothing you can do about it, everything just lines up to kill you. So, just play Pyro or Soldier, or just stop playing at all, and you'll do better. Come back later, you'll do better, I guarantee you. Okay, that's all I have. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.